This is gonna be a good one. Let's talk bread bowl. Hi, I'm Mike, and welcome to our Motivation USA Brief Unboxing, where you can buy anything, everything premium for your motorcycle. Let's see what we got. If I were to go back in time and decide which mod I should have done first on the Ducati Monster, the Brembo Master Cylinder RC816 and 19 would have been one of the first. It's synonymous across the board. Seeing the brand Brembo across your motorcycle or any bike that you're currently out to purchase or currently own symbolizes quality, and it's tested by WSBK and MotoGP, so you know the quality is there and it adds value to your motorcycle. If you're currently interested in seeing a detailed unboxing of the last video when we unboxed the Brembo Master Cylinders RC816 and 19s, click the link above, you can check that video out. Definitely recommended. Here's what you're gonna get in the box, just a quick brief brief of what you would see that's in the box. You're gonna get a detailed manual showing you in color the instructions in several different languages. They're also gonna include something that's very special, which is this. They include this card here, okay? It's not just for being fancy. If you look at the back of it, it has a SKU, a code. That's basically authorization of you owning that, that piece that's on your motorcycle. That's how far you go in terms of quality when you're talking about Brembo. Now that's not just included in one master cylinder. Brembo RCS 16 and 19 comes with their individual SKUs and barcode that's included individually. So again, the packaging is amazing. It's very well padded. You can't expect any less coming from Brembo. We have a lot to cover in terms of this video because I've been living with the Brembo Master Cylinders for several months now. I've been very excited because that was the very last mod to cap off the Ducati Monster to make it exactly what I wanted, which is what I wanted coming out of the dealer. So when you do purchase your Ducati Monster or any motorcycle, it comes with a standard OEM Master Cylinder. For my Ducati Monster, it came with a coffin style they were fairly cheap, but they did the job. I went with the 19s on the brake side and 16 on the clutch side. So make sure you touch base with your service manual or your dealership, or better yet, hit us up motivationusa.com to find out what exactly fits best on your motorcycle. There are several different Brembo RCS Universal master cylinders you can get for several different bikes. So make sure you check to see which one works best for your motorcycle. Now, a common thing that most people tend to ask very often, does it come with a brake switch for the brake master cylinder? And I have great news for you, it does come with a brake switch. However, if it's not a plug and play for your exact motorcycle, it might require a little bit more work. We're gonna dive into that. I'm gonna tell you some of the challenges that I encountered installing this. I did throw on the master cylinders myself, and I wouldn't say it's a simple process, but if you're savvy, and you know how to research and follow the detailed information to the T to try to make way on how things are gonna work. You should be okay, but if you feel slightly uncomfortable with doing this mod, I'd highly, highly recommend taking it to a dealer. One, it requires for you to stop. The majority of your stopping power is in your front brake and messing with the front master cylinder, you're gonna need to know what you're doing. And also for your clutch, you engage your gear with that. So you wanna make sure you know exactly what you're doing. For my personal bike, I went with the Brembo RCS 19s for the front brake, which matches perfectly with my Brembo calipers. And there's a reason for that. You wanna make sure when you're applying the pressure, it works perfectly with the pistons that you have. So make sure you know exactly which master cylinder that goes well with your motorcycle. Here's some of the things I encountered that was tough when I was actually installing them on my Ducati Monster. You would have to kinda tweak a little bit to make it fit where it doesn't hit the controls. Basically a, st a start and stop switch, everything that's on there. You wanna make sure it fits perfectly and you have enough leverage. Now, the biggest challenge that I encountered while installing that, I had to snip 
the brake switch wire and solder it. You're gonna see exactly what I did there. Now, if you guys are interested in seeing a detailed installation on how I did this, I can definitely upload it. Let us know in the comment section down below. We will upload that installation. It's pretty long and tedious. It might not be as interesting, but I can assure you that it's gonna be very enlightening. It'll give you a general idea if you wanna tackle this task yourself or take it elsewhere, all right? Here's another thing that you should be aware of when you are deciding to do this upgrade. There's a few items that you're actually gonna need. It's not just getting the master cylinders. You're gonna need fluid tank reservoirs for both clutch and brake master cylinder. You will also need Tigon tubing. I went with clear ones. That's what was recommended to me by the team and it looks amazing, all right? <laughs> you're looking at $2.99 for the master cylinder. Uh, Tigon tubing, maybe $10 to $12 the fluid tanks, that might be anywhere between $80 to $120, depending on which brand you're trying to go for. So you're gonna be going pretty deep in your pockets to have this exact look and feel on your motorcycle. And it's not just about looks, it's not just about looks. I know people are thinking, damn, that's a lot of coins I'm throwing at this. Is it just to look dope or maybe there's something else behind it? There's a lot more behind it, guys. What you're gonna get, an amazing feel when you're actually on the road, gripping with your, your front brake, the amount of pressure it requires, very little, and you're also gonna get the same exact grip every single time you squeeze, even while your brakes is fading. Now, another thing you wanna keep in mind is that if you were to crash your motorcycle, Everything on the master cylinder is basically modular. So if you break off your levers, you can actually replace those. You can buy them separate and they also fold up just in case. So you'll always make it home, even though if it's scratch or scuff or ding, you can fold it back down. You'll be able to ride your bike away from the situation without having to get a tow. So it's looking like this mod is a lot of work and I just thought to myself as I'm going, there's another component that you will need. So take a look at this, this is what I use for mine. You're gonna need a bracket, but for me, I went since I went with Rizoma Fluid Tanks, this is a fluid tank bracket. It's very versatile, very clean, and it looks beautiful. If you don't have a garage to work, you don't have uh, soldering tools, you might need that as well. But I guess it's more like me giving you a heads up on what it's gonna take and require for you to achieve this installation. I'm telling you, I should have done this mod very first on a Ducati Monster. I know I love some of the bling, some of the dope stuff that's on there, but this mod has definitely changed the way the bike rides and feel, and I highly, highly recommend it. Would I, would I do it over again myself, install this? Probably not, I'd probably take it to the dealer and let them do it, but Fortunately, I'm able to ride another bike as I had this one put away as I worked on it, which I did take a bit of time because I had to research and partner with the team at Motivation, which made it so much easier. I had a, a nice resource there for me, someone I could kind of give a call, or at least shoot an email, say, hey, I'm working on this, this is what's going on, what should be the next approach? And it's an amazing thing having the team there. I highly recommend it doing this mod because it makes a huge difference, all right? Quick tip for you out there if you're gonna be taking on this challenge and installing it yourself. If you're rocking a bike that has anti-lock brakes, make sure you turn the bike on when you're bleeding or at least running the DOT4 oil into the master cylinder because you want it to go through the entire system and back down to the caliper. Make sure the bike is on while you're doing that. If not, it is not gonna do anything. That was one of the challenges that I faced when I did that. Again, having the guys at MotivationUSA.com was able to kind of help guide me through this. This is not part of the manual that comes with the master cylinders, but it's something for you to be aware about. Moving on to the clutch master cylinders, I went with the RC816 for my specific setup, and that works best for my Ducati Monster. It might be different for your bike, so definitely check the site or partner with the team at Motivation USA to find out exactly what fits for your motorcycle. So in the packaging, very well put together. You're gonna have the serial number for the actual part that you need. And it does not include the Tigon tubing. It does not include the fluid tanks, which again, I did Rizoma fluid tanks on the opposite side. That way we have a matching black anodized, love the look, okay? Tigon, clear Tigon tubing. Okay, you could see the dot for oil running through it when you press it. That's more of a specific look. Here's the beauty about it. The feel is, completely different. The way you actuate the clutch 
It's super lightweight. You can do it with one finger, two finger. You don't need to really apply that much pressure. Then again, the bike is an hydraulic clutch, but it's very light, very on point the minute you actuate that, that clutch. Highly recommended. There's no other feel about it. Now, another thing we have to point out in regards to having the Brembo Master Cylinders, you have two ways of actually adjusting them. So you have a main switch on the left side. You could turn it. It's going to adjust how far the lever is to your finger. So if you have small hands, you could adjust it back where your hand will be a little bit further in without any problems. But if you have bigger hands, you want you want to actuate your clutch a little further out. You can turn that and it'll extend it out. So you have that flexibility in terms of fine tuning it. Most levers come with multiple adjustment one to three to four with the brembo master cylinder itself you can fine tune it as you adjust it just to your liking and it's not a one or two or three or four or five you can slightly adjust it or you can fully turn it and it snaps on every single time every degree so the level of adjustment nothing is like it out there now there's another thing you can adjust on there the piston itself so how you actuate it you basically see where it says 8 16 to 19 or 16 to 20 you will see where it write those exact numbers if you open up that small little cap you can take a flathead screwdriver and slightly turn it you'll be adjusting and if you go around the master cylinder itself you will see how it's as as it's turning how it's adjusting it to another finer degree. So you're going to have both of those options available to you on the clutch and the brake side of the master cylinder. Again, that level and degree of adjustability, you can't get that anywhere on any OEM part. This is something that WSBK and MotoGP guys level of adjustment. For your weekend riders or for you guys who are looking for great feel, if you do mountain, Canyon carving is on the weekend or in the weekdays <laughs> This is gonna be really dope for you. It's definitely worth it. Highly recommended. You know, you know, what's weird though I feel like oh as if I'm giving you pros to having this and I feel now that I'm thinking about it and the wheels are turning But then again, I installed this myself. So I feel like there are some challenges So here are some of the other challenges I encountered on my Ducati monster. There's another switch on the clutch side Okay, that basically means when, when you're ready to start your bike and it's in gear, first gear, right? And you don't wanna go through neutral, you could pull in the clutch and then you could still start it and get going. There's a switch on the clutch side that's on the OEM that is not part of the assembly with, with the Brembo Master Cylinder. I was mind blown that this was an issue and it took me a little bit to kinda figure out what was the next step and luckily for me the team at motivation USA was there for me to make me sure that we can get it done it was something that's definitely doable i had to buy a clutch pressure switch very small item it basically replaces the banjo bolt right at the very bottom of the clutch master cylinder it replaces that banjo bolt it's basically two in one so that means i had to snip the wire and snip the oem one and then solder that together to make that work properly. I could recommend you doing this at a dealership, but then is it worth it? Is it worth every single one of those little hassle? Absolutely. The thing you wanna do when you're attempting to do this exact mod to your motorcycle, lots of research first. So spend some time on the website. It's all about preparation work before you, you tackle the entire task. All right, boys, the level of difficulty on this installation is fairly high. If you don't feel comfortable, definitely let a professional mechanic do this. Highly recommend that you do that, but I can assure you, you will not regret doing this mod. If I had to go back and reverse and do some of the mods over in my Ducati Monster, this would probably be one of the first thing I've done because this definitely changed it. And, and I'm just super happy because this was the final mod that I wanted to do on the Monster and um, I've completed it. The bike is exactly what I wanted now and it feels amazing. By no means this long-term review of the Brembo RCS 16 and 19 is to scare you off. My general idea here, when we're doing long-term review at Motivation USA, we'd like to put some miles with the product we're talking about. It's very easy to get something and be very excited about it, throw it on the bike and then tell you it's amazing. 
I've been living with the RCS 16s and 19s for several months, almost going on a year right now. It's all good. I don't miss the, the OEM one. <laughs> I wasn't a big fan of the uh, coffin style, but then again, the feel alone on both clutch and brake, it's very tough to explain. The versatility you have in terms of adjustment alone is amazing. And here we are. Definitely recommend you doing this mod. Get somebody else to do it if you cannot. As recommended, use your parts purchase to support the store that support your sport. Motivation USA gives back to the riding community with everything from safety seminar courses and worldwide racing sponsorships. For the most trusted parts and accessories, shop motivationusa.com. All links will be in the description down below. And remember, ride safe and ride often.